Welcome back to Info Squad. Is Florida's coast being swallowed up by rising sea levels? Let's take a look. Rising sea levels threaten coastlines all over the world, but when it comes to Florida, this threat is much more significant. Our sea levels are on the rise, and places like Miami have to spend billions of dollars to combat this problem and prevent losing their coastlines. A dire new warning from scientists. Sea levels are rising faster than we thought, much faster. A new study by famed climate scientist James Hansen predicts glaciers in Greenland and Antarctica will melt 10 times faster than previous estimates, which could result in a sea level rise of at least 10 feet by the end of the century. The study paints an alarming picture for coastal cities, suggesting they might only be habitable for a few more decades. In Florida, more than 2.4 million people live within four feet of the local high tide. Here is Adam Sheffitz, a volunteer with the Miami High Water Line Project. In this photo, he is chalking a line that would show where a three-foot sea level rise would end up in Miami. The United States Army Corps of Engineers has predicted that by 2030, our oceans could see a 10-inch rise in water levels. Some people would debate that sea level rise is no major problem, but even a few inches can have profound effects on local environments. Parched terrain where almost nothing can grow. This part of the Florida Keys Island chain was once home to a large pine forest. But Chris Berg says rising sea levels have made the groundwater increasingly salty, destroying the ecosystem. What used to be a thriving pine forest used to support key deer, used to support uh, freshwater dependent wildlife. Now uh, does still support certain animals, but not those freshwater dependent species. The city of Miami has raised about $500 million to install pumps and raise city roads. But sooner or later, they're going to have to face the facts. One day, they will have to leave this area. The pricing on home insurance in these regions has already seen a tremendous increase. It won't be long before these insurance companies pull out of this region for good. Our wells and aquifers are being contaminated with seawater. Our county alone, that sea uh, saltwater intrusion line continues to march ever inland. In the city of Fort Lauderdale, it's about six miles in. Everything on the other side of that saltwater line, all those water wells have been lost. One person slipped up and used the word climate change. They're not allowed to say that. The governor says, no, you shall not use. If you're a state employee and I write your check, you can't use the word climate change. As our coastlines are swallowed up by salt water, what will our world look like in 20 years? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below. And if you like what we're doing here at Info Squad, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next video.